Hello everyone! Welcome back to English with Anna. Today we are going to talk about telling time. Telling time. Time is very important in the United States. If you go to school, if you go to work, even if you just go to meet your friend for coffee, it's very important to be on time. Don't go late. Time is very important to people in the United States. Today we're going to practice the question, what time is it? It's very important to talk about the hands on a clock. The hands on a clock. So just like you have some hands, the clock also has hands. Where my arrow is here, this is called the hour hand. The hour hand is the shorter hand, and it tells us the hour. Is the hour 10 o'clock? Is the hour 8 o'clock? Is the hour 5 o'clock? Here the hour is 10. This is called the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. It tells us the minutes. So here it's pointing to the two. This is 10 minutes. 10, 10. And this long, skinny, thin hand that is sometimes red is called the second hand. The second hand tells us how many seconds are passing on the clock. So it's very important to understand the hands on a clock. When the minute hand points to the 12, we always use the hour plus o'clock. So here is the hour, the hour is five, and when the long minute hand points to the 12, we always say o'clock. So this is five o'clock. Let's look at examples of this together. What time is it? It's one o'clock. We see that the hour is one, and because the minute hand is pointing to the 12, we say o'clock. And these are two different ways to write it. It's one o'clock. What time is it? It's two o'clock. What time is it? It's three o'clock. What time is it? It's four o'clock. What time is it? It's five o'clock. What time is it? It's six o'clock. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. 
So always when the minute hand points to the 12, we say the hour and then o'clock. And remember, we can write it with the two zeros like this, 12, and then the col this is called a colon, and then two zeros. Or we can write it with O apostrophe clock, O clock. <clears throat> Here are some things to remember when we talk about time. Remember that AM means the 12 hours from midnight to midday or noon. So AM is like in the morning hours, um, before lunchtime and then the early, early morning. PM is the 12 hours from midday or noon to midnight. PM is like after lunch, in the afternoon, and also in the evening, and the early night. When we say midday or noon, it means 12 o'clock PM. So midday or noon is around the time that we eat our lunch. 12 o'clock p.m. Midnight is 12 o'clock a.m. Usually at midnight we're sleeping. This picture might help you understand a little better. We can see a.m. is from midnight to midday when we eat lunch. And PM is from the time about we eat lunch to midnight. So the afternoon and the evening and the early night. That takes a little practice to remember. Here are some more things to remember for time. 60 seconds is the same as one minute. 60 minutes is the same as one hour. 24 hours is the same as one day. Let's look at these examples. I exercised for 60 minutes. This means that I exercised for one hour because 60 minutes is the same as one hour. I have not slept in 24 hours. This means that I have not slept in one day. So no sleep for one day, because 24 hours is the same as one day. I'll be there in 60 seconds. This means that I'll be there in one minute because 60 seconds is the same as one minute. If you need to go back and watch the video one more time, we will learn a little more about time in our next video. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.